Anthony here for D News, and we're a couple days into 2013 now. So I've been wondering, what are we gonna see this year? Last year, we had a lot of awesome discoveries and advancements. We had the Higgs boson, we had an Earth-like planet in Alpha Centauri, we had the Curiosity rover. So what is on the horizon? Well, Scientific American broke down some upcoming events, and there were a few that I found particularly interesting. First of all, we're gonna get our first data from the Ocean Observatories Initiative. The OOI is a massive undersea network of sensors devoted to studying the ocean floor. It's all about new oceanography. We've mapped the ocean, but now we need to know what happens in it and how the Earth-Ocean-Atmosphere system interacts. So how we impact the ocean, how the ocean impacts us. You know, the ocean is over two thirds of our planet and we know ridiculously little about what goes on down there. Now the OOI itself won't be fully completed until 2015, but these first readings are gonna start giving us an idea of just how much the ocean contributes to our everyday lives. The American Psychiatric Association is going to publish the fifth edition of their Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. So this thing is the handbook for mental health professionals and they use it to diagnose mental illnesses. Basically, if your illness isn't in there, it doesn't exist. And if something you do regularly in your life is in there, it's considered a disorder. Now you can see why a giant book that says you're fine your not is a really big deal, especially since the last time it was changed was 1994. There's gonna be a ton of controversy on this one when it's published in May. A lot of new science means a lot of new legislation whether you're a fan of that or not. Now, one of the biggest things the Supreme Court may have to decide this year is the legality of patenting genes. This is even scarier than it sounds because it doesn't just mean patenting a genetically modified tomato, but it means things like the ability to diagnose cancer by looking for DNA sequences or even monitoring specific DNA sequences to create disease-fighting drugs. No, you can't look at that DNA. It's already looked at, it's ours, only we can cure things based on it, right? Spooky. Now I'm not a fan of a future where stuff like that is locked down and there are some complex cases in progress right now that are going to be influential in deciding it. We put some links to this stuff in more detail down below if you want to check it out. There's a ton of other stuff going on this year too. Everything from improved home DNA testing, cool new materials that are going to lead to even smaller and more complicated electronics, and more missions to explore space. But personally, I will be disappointed in 2013 if it doesn't end with me holding one of these in my hands. What are you looking forward to? Let me know down below and subscribe here for more D News.